So this is how a lot of my friends know me. They know me by my juicer because every time they come over, I'm juicing. And I'm always talking to them about juicing and the great benefits and the things that um, juicing has really added to my life. And I just want to share a quick video with you guys, just a few tips on juicing. Um, and also talk about my juicer. Right now that I am using the Breville Juice Fountain Elite. It was uh, $2.99.99. I got it at Williams Sonoma. You can get it online or you know some other outlets. And uh, it's great. It's commercial grade. Um, I've had it for I don't even know how long. A little while now. And it's just absolutely fantastic. It's everything that you want in a uh, home juicer. Um, just like a quick demonstration. I mean this thing is it's so great I can take an apple and like fit the whole apple in here or um, or a cucumber I can put whole cucumbers in there like no problem and um, just uh, a couple quick tips one I put a bag here so that I can uh, I don't have to clean out the the container where all the pulp it gets uh, gets placed and then also for me, I get a little carried away sometimes. I get all these fruits and vegetables. I'm just so excited about juicing. I just juice them all. And then I end up with like so much juice that I can't drink at all. And you really don't want your juice to sit around for uh, more than 24 hours. You really want to make enough juice that you can drink it right away. If you have to, you know, uh, it, can, it can sit in the fridge for 24 hours. But if it sits there longer, you're really losing uh, some of the major benefits of juicing. So when you juice, just use a little bit at a time, and then that way you can play with the recipes too. One thing I recommend is, um, the reason I juice is to increase the amount of vegetables in my diet. And I know the typical American diet, and my old diet, used to not have any vegetables, or rarely any vegetables, if they weren't found on a hamburger. So a lot of the vegetables I have now, I mean, I eat so many vegetables, and uh, even some vegetables you never even heard of, like red kale, and uh, I've had I have ginger root, I've had lemongrass, um, parsley, basil, cilantro, I mean anything you can think of, cucumber in there. Um, and I guess my quick tip is, is you use juicing to increase the amount of vegetables you eat. And the problem with that is the juices tend to taste a little bitter if it's just a pure green juice made from green vegetables. So, um, a lot of the, the tricks that, uh, that juicers use when juicing is they use carrots, they use apples, and they use carrots. And these are really sweet, uh, sweet fruits and vegetables that really take away the bitter taste. They're great for you, and that way you can have your vegetables, you can have the health without all the... Uh, without using a whole lot of fruit and increasing your fruit at the same time as, as your uh, vegetables. So, I have this container here. This is one liter, 1,000 milliliters. And generally, I wouldn't make more than that in a day. If you make more than that, you're really overdoing yourself. Unless you're on like a real heavy juice diet and that's what you're drinking, this is what you do every day. Yeah, sure, fill that up. But... For me and what I'm going to eat tonight and tomorrow morning for breakfast, I'm just going to do one of these. And typically you want to have no more, no more than 50% vegetables to, ju to uh, fruit. So when you're juicing, you really want to have 400, maybe 500 milliliters maximum um, or else the bitter taste is really going to turn you off to juicing. And, and that's not what I want to encourage. I want to encourage everyone to juice, eat more fruits, eat more vegetables. So when you're juicing, do a 50-50 ratio, and you'll be okay. Um, that's all I really have to say right now. And uh, hopefully I can help motivate you guys to drink more juices, more fruits, more vegetables, and enjoy it at the same time. So thanks for watching, guys.